<laughs> it's the event that takes economic competitiveness to the next level. Up and coming innovators vying for a chance to make a change here in the city of Columbia. ABC Columbia's Rochelle Dean joins us live in the newsroom to explain how one program is igniting new opportunities for future leaders. Rochelle? Entrepreneurs from every age and from all walks of life have one thing in common. They all want to have an impact on the growth here in the capital city. And tonight, three finalists were given the chance to make that dream a reality. And with that, a room packed full of entrepreneurs and outside of the box thinkers spent the night listening to ways they might be able to change the face of the Midlands, one business at a time. There's been a psychological change in this community in the past two years. There is a momentum and an energy building like I don't know that we've ever seen before. And it's really important for us to celebrate that and capitalize on it by showing the world what Columbia is made of. Just ask 21 year old Andrew Askins, born and bred right here in Columbia. This USC senior is already the CEO of his own company, Crit, an online client management platform. I want to be a part of growing Columbia and growing South Carolina and just making, uh, growing the startup community here and um, showing people that you don't have to be in Silicon Valley to be doing cool stuff. That's what we're doing. We're showcasing that. We're showcasing the uh, Fortune 500s in the area, showing the high tech um, uh, technology that's here, just giving them an idea that this is going on right here in the middle. Are you 44? No. You're winners. Ignite 2014 gives three students in Columbia a chance to be a part of that. The finalists had a chance to network with business leaders who've been where they are and compete for $5,000 to help them get where they're going. Well, the University of South Carolina is such a big part of our uh, community. It's a big part of our economy, and they are training tomorrow's leaders today. And out of the three finalists, we've learned Shambi Broom, creator of Web Girls Code, has been announced the winner. Her idea is designed to get young ladies between third and fifth grade interested in science, technology, engineering, and math, and eventually wants to incorporate mobile classrooms. Good for her. Live in the newsroom, Rochelle Dean, ABC Columbia News. Wow. All right. Thank you, Rochelle.